Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing part two of Stardew Valley characters in The Sims 4. If you guys haven't seen the first part I did of this, I will link it down below or I'll put a card or whatever you call it on this video so you can check it out if you want. But in that video, we made Harvey, Shane, Haley, and Maru. And in this video, I think we're going to do... Let's do Sebastian. Let's do... Abigail, let's do Emily and Elliot. <laughs> I'm excited. I had so much fun at making the first video, so I'm very excited to do part two. Thank you guys for watching the first one and leaving me comments and things like that. I really do appreciate it. If you're new here, hello. My name is Savannah. I have a tons of Sims 4 content on my channel from speed builds to let's plays to cast videos and a bunch of other random stuff. So if you want to subscribe and join the family, it would mean the world to me. I don't have a Celsius today, y'all. I've just got water because I already drank myself. Celsius. I was very tired this morning and I just needed it so I just I drank it <laughs> so I have water so <laughs> cheers to you cheers to this video let's get into it all right you guys here we are in create a sim I already have my four sims down here to get to work we're gonna start with Abigail so let me uh, read you a little bit about her um, she lives in the general store with her parents she sometimes fights with her mom who worries about Abigail's alternative lifestyle her mom has the following to say I wish Abby would dress more appropriately and stop dyeing her hair blue okay first of all her hair is purple but okay so basically she's the alt girl of the game um, I think she's pretty cool. She's not my favorite, but um, I love that she has purple hair. It's really cute. So I'm looking at her portrait here. She has purple hair, blue eyes, uh, very fair skin. And yeah, I'm excited. Let's get into it. This uh, this base sim that we're starting with actually looks, uh, looks pretty similar to her. I just need to change a couple of things. It looks like her nose is very like, it points up a lot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna curl it a little bit like that or actually hold on let me find one like that it looks more like this i think and then her eyes her eyes are actually quite round they're very big and round so let's see kind of like that i keep looking this way because i'm looking at all of her portraits on the wiki i'm actually going to change her skin tone as well to Something a bit lighter, I think. Yeah, I would say like right there. And then her eyes are blue. They're like, they're actually like kind of a turquoisey blue. Kind of like, I think that's actually a good color. The first one that I picked. Um, There's those two. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And uh, her mouth, let's see. She has little to no Widow's Peak, which is something that I... Not Widow's Peak. Cupid's Bow, which is something that I noticed with a lot of the Stardew characters. They have, like, no Cupid's Bow. Her, her lips are actually quite pouty as well. And her top lip's a little bit smaller. This one's kind of hard, I will not lie. She has a very, like unique look about her it's 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 difficult this sim looks like freaking scarlett johansson what is happening right now all right she has pretty uh thick and pronounced brows so let me find some hmm are they straight it's kind of hard to tell because her hair is covering them so i guess i can just give her whatever looks good she kind of seems like the kind of girl that would like tailor her brows and make them like perfect and thick and beautiful she's wearing a choker she's actually really cool looking she's probably the coolest looking uh the coolest looking um bachelorette okay this isn't coming along as good as i'd hoped but maybe after the skin details that we add she she'll start coming together okay i think the skin detail helps I don't know, maybe her... Mm, this one's hard, you guys, I will not lie. I am struggling, you guys. She's a tough one. I don't know why, because she's so simple. Like, every character's design is so simple, and yet I'm just having issues. I'm just gonna have to accept this and move on, okay? 
And yes, I'm gonna give her blush and freckles because she lives in Stardew Valley and she's very, very fair. So I just kind of feel like she probably would. <laughs> okay, let's find our girl some hair now. Her hair is like, she has, I mean, does she have bangs? Would you guys, would you guys consider those bangs? Yeah, she has layers, it looks like, and like grown out kind of bangs. Ugh. That is so cute. That would be her if she like went on like a formal outing, you guys. You know, you feel me? You know what I'm noticing about the purple swatches of these hairstyles too? Is like there's either this kind of purple or this kind of purple. There's really no in between. Oh god. Okay. Oh, this one though. This is very close. Cause it has those like wispy bangs in the front. Ugh. This is really nice. I need something in between this and this. Ugh. Lordy, 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 lordy. Lordy. I like this one too. Cause it has those like curly pieces like gathering up on her shoulder. This one's pretty good too. Dang, that's so close. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's the closest that we're going to get, y'all. It had it's the right length and everything. So, all right. So, let me go ahead and throw on a uh choker cuz she's for sure wearing one and I don't want to forget. Yeah. And then she has some sort of like some sort of lip stuff on. Okay. So, in her little portrait here she's wearing like a black v-neck with a vest it's like a teal vest oh when abigail was revealed during early development she was depicted with dyed blue hair this was later changed to purple okay okay you know what this is it this is the freaking winner holy crap yo this is perfect absolutely perfect i have gotten so many scam calls today you guys i can't even believe it <laughs> Yeah, this is great. I just really wish I could change the freaking undershirt. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Can't win them all, you know? Oh my god, I can. You're kidding. You can win them all. <laughs> oh man, I die. Okay, I'm gonna do this charcoal gray-ish color because that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, this is coming along great, you guys. This is fantastic. All right, let's find you some pants now, my love. Does she seem like a skinny jeans kind of girl or a wide leg with a chain or like <laughs> joggers, leggings, leather pants? I don't know. Definitely feel like she's a boot girl or even just Vans. Um... Mmm, that's cute. Oh my god, should we do the flaming high top vans? I never use these, but I feel like this is such a good opportunity to. <laughs> Aw, those are cute too. Or Converse, maybe? Dang, the Converse do look nice. Ah, oh, gotta do the Converse. They just look so good. I think she's done, y'all. I do. I think. Oh god, I don't know. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Why am I scared? Because she's, she's such an iconic part of the game, and I don't want to do her wrong. All right, you guys. I'm pretty sure I'm done. I was trying to think of some other stuff to add, but I just don't think that she needs it. I think she looks great. I hope that you guys like her. So for her aspiration, um. She plays the flute all the time, so maybe we can give her the musical genius one. And then we can give her like a musical trait, maybe music lover. Music lover, we can give her the night owl trait, and we can also give her... Oh, sing it, girl. Do you think that she's gloomy? Do you guys get that vibe from her for those of you that play the game? I kind of want to give her the gloomy trait. I never married her, so I don't really know that much about her. But, um... Oh, she does like playing video games. So maybe we can give her the geek trait? She really likes rainy weather as well. Oh, yeah, and she is the drummer in Sebastian's band. So I think the music one was a good choice. Um... 
I'm gonna give her gloomy and I'm also gonna give her geek. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, let's move on to the next sim, which is going to be Sebastian. Boop. So Sebastian is a rebellious loner who lives in his parents' basement. He is Maru's older half-brother and feels like his sister gets all the attention and adoration while he is left to rot in the dark. He tends to get deeply absorbed in his work, computer games, comic books, sci-fi novels, and will sometimes spend great lengths of time pursuing these hobbies alone in his room. He can be a bit unfriendly to people he doesn't know. Could a charming new farmer cultivate the wasteland of his heart? Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure he does programming for a living as well, and he has a motorcycle. Okay. All right, Seb. Well, let's get into you. So you also have purple hair, and it's very, like, sideswept and, like, super emo. Brown eyes, black hoodie. Seems simple enough. Let's get into it. I'm gonna randomize a couple of times until we find... Ah! that's actually a pretty good one hold on let's go back hello there sir okay so here's what we got to work with i think that the nose definitely needs to be changed i feel like his jaw as well is way too chiseled <laughs> can i get a less chiseled jaw perhaps hate to do this to you buddy but that's just how it how your photo is there i think that's more of his skin tone too this mouth as well it's also pretty good Mm, again, the cupid's bow is a little too pronounced. There, I think that's pretty good. He doesn't have a smile going on at all. So let me just make this completely straight. <laughs> and then it looks like he might have dimples, which is quite cute. I know that I have some dimple CC. Let me change his eyes to brown. And I think the eye shape's pretty good too. It's very almondy. I don't even think that's a word, but... Ooh! Why does this floor skin detail make everyone look exactly like their Stardew photo? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with Butterish. Gotta, gotta do at least one Butterish. <laughs> Let's put some lashes on our boy. Should we do the downward facing ones? These are kind of nice. Okay, okay, it's coming along, it's coming along. Uh, I'm gonna give him a couple of moles as well. Just, I just don't like leaving my Sims faces completely blank. Anyone else? Like, they gotta have some kind of like little mole or a little like freckles or something. Just like a little something. Oh, the dimples, that's right. Yeah, there's like, there's two, two little ones. All right, let's go ahead and move on to his hair now. He has a very unique hairstyle, and I know for a fact that I don't have anything that's going to be exactly, but, ugh. I mean, that's pretty freaking good, you got to admit. He's beautiful. <laughs> He's so beautiful. Let me put the hoodie on him really quick. Uh, I think that'll help bring everything together. Uh, so it's just it's like a, it's a hoodie that matches his hair perfectly. So unfortunately, I don't have one that matches his hair, like that purpley color. Uh, but you know what? This will have to do. This one's pretty good too. Ooh, it's between this one and this one. I wish I could get your guys' opinion. I wish I was live streaming right now. Oh gosh. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one, you guys. I'm, I'm trusting my gut here. I'm trusting my gut. Motorcycle boots, because he does have a motorcycle. It's either these boots or the boots from the mosquito pack. I think I'm vibing mosquito pack. All right. Well, he's a very simple character. There ain't much to him. So that is it for Seb. I hope that you guys like him. I hope I did him justice. His hair is so much more anime than I was able to find, but... I don't know. I like him. I kind of want him in my legacy challenge a little bit. <laughs> so for his aspiration, I'm going to give him the computer whiz one. And then for his traits, we're going to do one that has to do with programming and hacking, because that's what he does for money. Um, he's also quite a geek as well. Lots of geeks in this game. Love to see it. Webmaster, perhaps? Get the most of their computers, unlocking extremely useful ways to use them. I'm also going to give him the needs no one trait. Or independent. 
Independent in the sim, social needs decay slower. Let's do independent. All right, Seb, you are done and I love you. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the third character that we're going to be doing today and that is Emily. Boop. Emily is the bartender of Pelican Town. She loves fashion and making her own clothes. Like her favorite gifts to get are like spools of cloth and like wool. She's very sweet, super happy-go-lucky, just like probably the sweetest villager I'd say. She lives with Haley, her sister, who I made in the last video, and they care for their parents' home who have been traveling the world for the past two years. Uh, she works part-time at the saloon. Um, yeah, she's just a sweetheart. She's smiling in her photos and yeah, I don't know. She has red eyes, blue hair, and she's wearing like a red, oh my God, is that a red polo or I don't even know. It's just a red top, so we'll figure it out. We'll figure something out. Okay, so I'm thinking that this skin tone is actually pretty good. It's a little bit more pink though. Yeah, there we go. That's good. That's good. And then her eyes are red, which is very interesting. You know, they're more actually, they're more like a reddish orange. So I think I'll probably, um, yeah, let's do these. I like those. Okay. And her brows, she has thick, straight brows and she has some of the biggest eyes that I've seen in this game. <laughs> Give her a big smile because she's always smiling. Her chin is definitely more pointy. She has like a heart-shaped face, so it's more like, um, maybe there. Okay, okay, it's coming together, it's coming together. All right. <laughs> Let's do skin detail now that we have like the overall structure. I think I'm gonna do this one right here. I can't even freaking see what it says on there, but this is what it looks like. It gives her a little bit of freckles and some highlights, which I like. Um, let me throw some lashes on her. She kind of looks like she's wearing uh, eyeliner as well. So we can put some eyeliner on her, which is fun. I think her top lip needs to be a little bit smaller if that's even possible. Okay, all right. Let's throw some little uh, small eyeliner on her. Oh, let's do one, but turn the opacity down so it's not that harsh. And then on her lips, her lips are actually, she actually has like, lipstick on it looks like even almost red okay i'm gonna add a little bit more freckles on her and give her some mouth corners just so she's a so little bit just so she's like a little bit more smiley actually i don't know do i want to do mouth corners look weird no i think it suits her actually okay all right cool let's find her hair now let's do the hard part shall we <laughs> so her hair is short it's definitely shorter than shoulder length and it's has a side part and it's kind of everyone's hair in this game it like sticks out a lot i can appreciate that but it kind of makes it hard to find a hair to match in the sims but i'm gonna do my best just like i always do look at this one oh my god this is actually so freaking close this was one of the first cc hairs i ever downloaded i don't know why i still have it because it's not it's not amazing, but like, shoot, I might as well. I mean, I might use it in this video if I can't find anything else. <laughs> That's so funny. You guys, this hair is perfect, but it doesn't come in the right blue. I could cry. Oh my God. There's this one too, but again, no blue swatch. Big Uggs, am I right? Ooh, wait. Ooh! Ooh! Me thinks this is it! Mm-hmm. Don't know why I said that like Jar Jar Binks, but <laughs> I think this is the winner, you guys. All the way at the bottom. I think I want to change her brows. I think they need to be thicker. Kind of like that, and then they need to be like lower down. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. So now we need to find her either a red button up dress or a red polo. And do that dick of it. Ugh. That's how I feel every time I like start going through my CC into the thick of it. Here we go. Oh, this could work. This could work. And since it's cropped, it kind of looks, it looks, uh, 
looks cute. I think she needs to be a little bit. There you go. A little bit curvier. A little bit curvier. Wagon. Love a good wagon. Am I right, guys? This is kind of cool, too. Like, we can only see from here down. So who knows? She could be wearing a belt like that. I think I like this one the best. Uh, let's find her some trendy bottoms to wear with this. Okay, kind of love how those match her hair. <laughs> oh, I love these slacks by Simpliciati. They just, they're so good. So, so good. Um, oh man, should we do the blue pinstripes? I'm kind of tempted to do the blue pinstripes, you guys. I think they look pretty dope. Does she look like a bartender to you? I don't know. I don't know, but she's quickly becoming one of my favorites. <laughs> I'm definitely going to put all of these Stardew characters in my legacy so that we can see them walking around, being cute, maybe be part part of the legacy. I guess we'll see what happens. She's kind of reminding me of a clown a little bit, but I kind of like it. I will not lie. I don't mind clowns. Are you guys scared of clowns? They don't bother me. My monochromatic mind is wanting everything to match, everything to be blue. I think it kind of looks dope. I don't, I think the red might be too much, too clowny, but mm, the black ones are cute too. Also kind of want to slap a tattoo on her just for funsies. Um, maybe butterflies on her arm. Oh my God, she's such a cutie. She needs to stop it right now. For her aspiration, is there a, like a fashion one? Oh, we could do the Lady of the Knits or the Maker one. But she does, she makes her own clothes. I know that's not technically knitting. I mean, it could be. Let's do the knitting one. Okay, and then for her traits, I'm gonna give her creative. I'm gonna give her cheerful, and I'm also gonna give her... Oh, how cute is that? When you're married, she sets up a crystal garden in the back, and she meditates. Aww. So she's into, like, that kind of stuff, eh? Like, wellness and crystals, and... I don't think that there's a trait for that, though. I wish there was one that was, like, zen or, like, spiritual or something like that. Y'all know what I mean? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do compassionate because I'm not really sure what to do for the third one. <laughs> All right, well, here's Emily. I hope that you guys like her. I think she's absolutely adorable. Obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. <laughs> I love the pants. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, we have... Elliot. Oh. Elliot is the bachelor that I know the least about. I've never married him or gotten like any heart events with him, but uh, he lives alone in the cabin, in a cabin on the beach. He is a writer who dreams of one day writing a magnificent novel. He is a sentimental romantic with a tendency to go off onto flowery poetic tangents. Well, that really helps us with our traits, doesn't it? When he can afford it, he enjoys a strong beverage at the saloon. Um, okay, cool. So I'm gonna right off the bat, give him the the writing aspiration. I'm also going to give him romantic. I'm going to give him um, poetic. I kind of get snob vibes from him because he likes very um, expensive items. He likes duck feathers, lobsters, pomegranates, crab cakes that type of stuff. I'm gonna hold off on the third trait. All right, let's get started then. Elliot has long flowing hair and we only see his side profile for some reason. Uh, but there's a there's a hair that came with, um, that came with a, a dream home decorator pack that looks exactly like his hair. It's kind of funny. We might have to use it, but I'll see. I don't know if this is the right jaw. I feel like it's too chiseled. I think that's looking a bit better. You guys, I am struggling with this one. I cannot make him look like his photo. What the heck? What is happening right now? Uh, when you only, <laughs> when you only have a side profile to go off of, what the heck are you supposed to do? You know? What are you supposed to do? Let's find him a nice skin detail then. Um, hopefully this will f will cure our woes. 
Whatever skin detail makes him look most like a pretty boy is the one that I will choose. I do think I need to change his eye as well. I just realized that he has um, monolids and I think that he does need like some hooded eye action going on. Let me have a look at the hair from the Dream Home Decorator pack really quick and see if that's the one. Why are you doing this? Why aren't you changing color? Really? You're gonna do this to me right now? <laughs> It's so close, it's stupid. It's not letting me choose the right swatch though. What the frick? This game's playing me. Okay, so now that we've seen this one, let me see if I have anything that's like custom content version of this. There's this one. <laughs> Wait a minute. This one's actually pretty good because it has that like that wave right there in the front. Mm. So yeah, I think that first one was the winner. Not the one from the Dreamhead Decorator pack. This one, this one by Anto. It's a good color too, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is the one. Okay, so he's wearing... Interesting. Interesting. Um, It's like a green handkerchief with a red blazer and a white button-up. Definitely don't have that in The Sims, so I'm gonna do my best to find something similar. Oh my god, even like this. Like... <laughs> Uh, I wish I had like a, um, an accessory that yeah, I could like tie around his neck to be that little green. Oh, that's cute. Oh my god, he has gold teeth. Oh boy, let me uh, let me help you out with that, sir. <gasps> he also needs some, some frecklies. I forgot to put some frecklies on him. Little bit of color on the nose, just a smidge. Eee! Oh man, he definitely looks like a rider. Definitely looks poetic. He looks like a Disney prince. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing so hard at this. Uh, it just makes me happy when it all starts coming together, you know? God, I want to put him in Converse so bad, but I don't know if that's his vibe. I think maybe more dress shoes are his vibe. I'm just trying to find like a little handkerchief that we could give him. That just looks like what he's wearing in his photo, but I don't think anything will will do the job. All right, that's it. That's the one. I'm gonna go. Oh, he has. Oh no, he doesn't have an earring. Close enough. I think he's close enough. I hope that you guys like him. This took me so freaking long. Why did it take me so long? For his last trait, I guess we'll do. He likes to fish, I think. I honestly am not sure. He's friends with Willie, who is a fisherman. Could have hung when he can afford it. So he's not rich. So I don't think we can make him a snob. I guess we could do Angler's Tranquility, although I'm never seeing him fishing. Whatever. I hope that you guys like him. Ah, oh, what a struggle bus that was. Thank you guys so much for watching this part of making Stardew characters in The Sims 4. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please comment down below who you would like to see next. If you would like me to make another video, make sure to like this one so that I know. Also, let me know who your favorite Sim was from this video. I would love to know. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!